Hosting Texas used to be number one top places to move to in the year 2020, but from year 2022 till today, it has been declining. There is a reason why Austin has continued to decline for the last three years and people have stopped actually moving to Austin. On the contrary, people have find Houston, Texas attractive and they continue to move here. In this video, I will give you some reasons why people were moving to Austin in 2020 and 2021 and while they have stopped moving there and they have found Houston as an alternative for them in the year 2023, 2024 and beyond. If you meet me for the first time, my name is Wale Lawal. I am a real estate agent. I'm also a real estate investor and I'm based in Houston, Texas. I've helped a lot of people to buy, sell and invest in real estate. So if you need any real estate help, I would love to be a source of your resources. Now, before I start telling you why people are moving to Houston, Texas, I want to quickly flash you back to 2020 during the pandemic and 2021, why people were moving to Austin. Austin had a booming economy. Talk about the tech job, the Google, your Tesla, Amazon, even Oracle were expanding to the Austin, Texas market because they saw the potential. Also, the real estate market was really booming there. Houses were selling really fast people were paying 10%, 15%, even 20% over asking price. But what has changed? People also like Austin because he has a college town, you know, there's a lot of nightlife there. Uh, it's kind of like a vibrant city for the young professionals, especially those in the tech industry. They find it very, very appealing. People were moving from California, New York, Seattle, among other places that they were moving for. But in 2023 and 2024, it has been declining. And I will tell you some of the reason why people have stopped moving to Austin. Now, before I tell you the reason why people have actually stopped moving to Austin, I need to give you a quick, uh, you know, example that i have for you here i have a client his name is john he was moving from boston massachusetts and he wanted to compare the two cities as a matter of fact he did compare three so he compared dallas he compared Austin, and he compared houston so he drove down here all the way from boston and he pretty much planned about a week and a half trip for himself uh while he's still walking over the road and he well, he taught all these cities eventually he narrowed his option down to houston I helped him to buy, buy a house in 2022 and now he's happily, you know, homeowner here in Houston. I have another one that is Maria moving from California. She did something very similar as well. Eventually, she still settled down in Houston. So what does this mean? It means that people uh, are not really finding, you know, Houston attractive anymore. And above all, it's even more expensive to buy in Houston, a house that you can easily pay $400,000 for in Houston. If you're buying the similar house and the similar amenities, similar neighborhood, you know, you're probably going to pay at least about $480,000 to $470,000, $470 to $480,000. So it's about, you know, $70,000 more just because it's Austin, Texas. Now, when I talk to people that have, you know, do some extensive research about, you know, when they moved to Austin and what they have, you know, they didn't like anymore, why they regret moving to Austin, they always tell me, uh, number one, A, it's a car-centric cities that is if you don't have a car you can't really get anywhere which means that it leads to a lot of traffic there's a lot of car on the road then there's going to be traffic they also find it that it's not very diversified as they would like you know as compared to uh houston or dallas or san antonio so that's another thing why they've mentioned to me also they're saying that the tech jobs are there but some of these company are also start to you know downsizing or laying off people or cutting back you know some of their employment so that way the job is really a little bit not so there as it used to be. Now, this is the biggest one they also told me. They told me that the cost of living has really, really increased. As a matter of fact, uh, they've seen about 13% increase in the cost of living. And now, even houses are more expensive than they, they should be. Rent has gone up as well. So these are some of the reasons why they just felt like maybe it was a mistake that they moved here in the first place, or maybe they would have reconsidered their decision uh, when they were moving down here, down to Austin. They also complained that it's a college town and uh, because it's a college town mostly what you can do is surrounding the activities that has to do with young professionals so those ones that are a little 
Nairobi older generations did just just did not find hosting uh, as a as a good decision for them. As a matter of fact, I have somebody right now that I've been working with, and we looking to help them sell their house in Houston, and eventually they want to buy another one in Houston. So with the above things I've discussed about why some of the people move to Houston and why they also regret moving there. I want to give you on the Houston side, why is Houston a top choice for a lot of out of states, you know, from California, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, you know, your DMV and all those ones. Why do they still always find Houston as a top choice? I will tell you right now. Number one is we are very diversified. Houston is a very, very uh, large city. As a matter of fact, we are about 6.8 million people right now and it's still growing and uh, largely because of the migration you know from other states or neighboring states or the most expensive state like California and New York they keep coming to Houston because we are very very diversified number two is the cost of living the cost of living here is very very affordable people find it a lot cheaper than California, a lot cheaper than Austin, a lot cheaper than New York. And also the quality of life here is just better because you can buy a $300,000 house with a very huge backyard as compared to what you will have been able to get in Austin or even in California. So this is uh, another reason why people are moving here. Now, there's a lot of jobs here. Contrary to what you probably have read online that Houston is only known for the oil and gas, that's not true. Houston has a lot of jobs consulting, oil and gas, manufacturing, and a lot of tech jobs as well. And people are working from home, so they can pretty much, you know, uh, be employed in uh, New York or New Jersey, and they live in Houston, Texas, because they, they work remotely, so they are benefiting from Houston, what Houston has to offer, why they are also benefiting from getting a higher paycheck or higher salary, because the employer employ them from an expensive market, so that way they are, you know, kind of enjoying boats. Now, there's a lot of transportation options in Houston here. We have the public transport. We call it uh, Metro Bus. Uh, you have other privately owned as well. It's very easy to move from point A to point B here. Now, there will be some traffic, you know, typically during your, you know, your hours of around, you know, 4 to 5 p.m. or 4 to 6, typically when people are leaving work, you can expect some traffic, but it's usually dissolved within 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, Houston is a very large city, like I said, and there's a lot of suburbs around Houston that if you don't want to live in Houston, you can always live in the likes of KD, Cypress, PA Land, you know, Manville, your Sugarland, your Richmond, where you are not really in the 610 loop. Another big one is the lifestyle here in Houston. Houston has a lot to offer. Talk about all those outdoor activities, uh, museum, um, live music, a lot of concerts here. Uh, you have your Minutes Made, you have your Toyota Center, uh, you have your KD Mills, you know, Houston Premium Outlets in Cypress or in Houston. Among other things that Houston just, you know, continue to be a top choice for people that are looking to move here either for a uh, for job or they want to invest here or they just have a family member here that they want to be close to. They always find Houston a top choice for them. Now, another big reason is that Houston has the largest medical center in the world. A lot of healthcare professionals still moving down here to Houston because they know that they will always have a job because talk about 60 different hospitals, you know, in the, in the Houston area, even more than that. But last time I checked, I think I was seeing about 60. So there's always going to be healthcare jobs because you know, people will get sick, people have a need to, you know, to visit the, the doctors and people are, you know, giving birth, people have, you know, health issues. So they find it very attractive. Like, hey, if I'm in the healthcare industry, I'm better off living in Houston because I will always have a job. Houston also has one of the best school districts in the United States. The KDISD, the Cypress Fairbank, you know, your PLN area, they are known for you know, good schools that people are looking for because every parent want their child or their children, you know, their loved one to go to the best school and Houston and surrounding cities offer those top-notch schools. Most of them are A-rated schools, a great community, family-oriented, uh, low crime rates, among other benefits while people continue to move down to Houston. Now, to sum it up, the climate here is very, very pleasant uh, as compared to Austin. Um, here you can expect your, you know, 
moderate rain here, but there's a lot of time it's sunny here. Uh, there's no any natural disaster here. Uh, we do have you know excessive rain sometimes, but um, it's still very very much uh, under control as compared to the likes of uh, what you can expect. You know, in terms of natural disaster in other parts of the country. So I hope this actually helped you to see why people continue to move to Houston as compared to Austin. Now, I do recommend that you visit these two cities or anywhere you actually want to live. It is always recommended that you drive down there if possible. If you cannot drive, you can fly down there and do your own assessment, do your own visibility, you know, visit a couple of community there, uh, talk to some neighbors, go there during the day, go there during the night, and be able to have your own first-hand information as well but the purpose of this video is to you know educate you on why I've seen people why I've helped over 200 people to move to Houston Texas here and why they are loving it here as compared to Austin Texas now I do understand that this is a lot of information for you that's why I have a resource for you down to download you can see it in the description below make sure to download it it will help you to weigh your options to understand this neighborhood better and eventually make a better decision uh, with your move. I hope this is very valuable. If you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Wale Lawal. I'm a real estate agent, real estate investor here in the Houston, Texas area. I've helped a lot of people to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. And I would love to chat with you as well. If you need any real estate help, feel free to always reach out. You can find my contact information in the description below. Before I go, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to this channel, share with anybody you think will benefit from this video and above all comment below i want to know what you think is it going to be houston for you is it going to be dallas is it going to be hosting i want to know in the comment below i will see you on the next one bye bye